Speak Student. As you like it, Alashma. Being a bride isn't just about showing off the ring and receiving gifts with a gracious smile. Oh no, the bride has to pull a wedding together in which everyone has fun, no one gets insulted, and the event stays at or under budget. Ever see Bridezilla? And while the end result may be the most awesome celebration ever, you may find yourself wondering if as much thought went into the newlywed couple's decision to marry in the first place as the thought that went into the decision to have the bridesmaids wear uh, tangerine-colored dresses. Rosalind and Celia are forced to flee from the usurper Frederick into the forest of Arden. Because Rosalind is disguised as a boy, she has to fight off the attentions of another woman while continuing to engage the affection of the man she loves, Orlando. Everything turns out fine. Everyone marries who they're supposed to, and all the villains repent for their naughtiness. But what does As You Like It really have to say about marriage? Well, at first, it seems as if the play is all in favor of the practice. Rosalind and Orlando, Celia and Oliver, Phoebe and Silvius, and Audrey and Touchstone all get hitched in the end, presumably to live uh, happily ever after. Although, given how Shakespeare treats some of the characters in his other plays, that's never a safe bet. <laughs> the problem is that love makes these characters act like idiots. You have Rosalind, dressed as a guy, who tries to convince Orlando to let him, her, take Rosalind's place so he, she, and Orlando can act out the relationship Orlando would like to have with Rosalind. Awkward. You have the shepherdess, Phoebe, who's fallen for Rosalind dressed as a guy, and you'd think Phoebe would sense something amiss here, but apparently not. You end up with a massive argument in which everyone fights over who's going to marry whom. And let's not forget that As You Like It is rife with jokes about wives cheating on their husbands. Either Shakespeare was a bit one note on his humor in this play, or he just didn't think much of marriage. But maybe what Shakespeare really wants is for us to take an honest look at marriage and the person we're going to vow to love and cherish for the rest of our lives. There's a great deal of disguise and deceit in As You Like It. Many of the characters are not who they present themselves to be. Today's dating world is very much like Shakespeare's play. People will say anything to get a hot date. Is there an airport nearby, or did my heart just take off? Perhaps Shakespeare is encouraging us to truly get to know the people we're attracted to and to understand what making a lifelong commitment means so that if we decide to take that big step and spend thousands of dollars on a beach wedding in Cancun, we won't be regretting the expenditure six months later. So what do you think Shakespeare was trying to say about marriage? Did he think that the wedding vows were a waste of time, or was he pro? Come up amongst yourselves. <laughs>